So now that we've discussed all four different sharp techniques, seams, creases, sharps, and bevel weights, we can discuss a little bit more about the sharpen operation that we have available to us in hard ops. So let me add in a cylinder here, get out of wireframe, and um, we're gonna go ahead and click sharpen. Now I've already mentioned to you what sharpen does, right? It adds a smoothness and then auto smooth to it. Very simple. But we also have a threshold here called sharpness, which you may or may not have noticed. Now the auto smooth angle is pretty self-explanatory, you can adjust that. But sharpness here is something that affects only the four different sharp operations we have going on. So not only is it applying smoothness, but on these sharp edges, it's also applying the sharps, the four sharps that we mentioned. Now in this case, if we press control tilde on the keyboard, it's only applying these three that we have checked. It's applying a crease, a bevel weight, and a sharp. And I don't have seam applied right now, I guess it just wasn't turned on. But if we go into edit mode here, you're gonna see we have all three of those marked. Crease, B weight, and sharp. So the first one is uh, B weight. If we press the N key, you're gonna see the bevel weight set to one. The crease is set to one. And we also have a sharp here, which we can't see, but if I were to turn both of these to zero, you'll see it. And then if I clear the sharp, you're gonna see we're back to square one. So if we were to do this in vanilla, what we would have to do is apply all these manually. We'd have to go in here, apply a sharp manually, a B weight manually, and then a crease manually. There's no option to add these based off of an angle. And that's exactly what the sharps also doing in hard ops. It allows us to apply the different uh, sharpening operations based off of an angle. You cannot do this in vanilla. And this is super powerful because imagine I have like a lot of cuts in here, right? You know, get like five or six cuts going. Get just five of these. Maybe top it off with a circle. So you can imagine, you know, going in here and applying all the different sharp operations to each individual set of edges would be an immense pain because in vanilla, we can't do it based off of angles. We'd much rather be able to click and have all the sharps go at once, right? But in vanilla, we'd have to unfortunately really get in here and get all these sharp edges selected. Now you could expedite the process by going up to select and choosing select sharp edges and you know applying it that way or you could also select by uh, you know a trait. You could do like face angles and things like that. All sorts of different ways you could quickly select it in vanilla but none that's as quick and instant as just going in here to object mode, clicking sharp and then being done with it. And like I said before, you can control exactly which sharp operations are being applied. So say you didn't want a crease to be applied, you can just turn that off. And then if we run a sharpen, then there's going to be no crease in here. It's only going to be the sharp and bevel weight, both of which we can... Actually, we need to do this again from scratch because those were already applied from before. But yeah, if this is empty, right? And it's only it only has B weight and sharp ticked. When we add a sharpen, you're going to see we have no crease applied. So you can kind of go in here and mix and match which um, sharp options you need to have applied. You can change the sharpness angle based off of your specific model and if you need a higher or lower amount. But that's generally an additional part of sharpen that we haven't discussed yet.